Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently had a chance to see House Sitters, which stars two of my favorite actors of all time, Steve Martin and Goldie Hawn. I am a immense fan of the two together just because I feel like their camaraderie and chemistry is up to 11 on the charts. It, it actually exceeds that. It, <laughs> it goes to infinity to the infinity. <laughs> They just have that kind of vibe together, and they jive unbelievably well. And <laughs> this was just a hysterical film. I absolutely loved it. This, this one is what I call comedy perfection. And had it been anybody else in these roles, I don't see how the movie would have worked. But it's about this architect, and like with Roxanne... He's the only man in his job who really has a clue as to what he's doing in it. Everybody else below him, they're basically a bunch of nimrods. Well, <laughs> suffice it to say, he builds this house, a very unique house, for the love of his life. And he wants to marry her, but of course, it's too large for her. And she passes on the offer, which is the offer of a lifetime. And... Becky, actually, small spoiler, comes to regret that later on in the film when <laughs> when Goldie Hawn's character becomes involved and she is a consummate liar. <laughs> and it's really funny just to hear the whoppers that she consistently tells. And Newt's character, or his, he's known as Davis, but to his parents he's called Newt. And Newt is also quite the con artist in his way, but with him, he really can't fib to save his life. And we learn that <laughs> rather early in the film when we come to the grips of his epiphany when he is in way over his head. And it's it's quite amusing, but it's it's a romantic comedy. It's just absolutely sensational and there, there are some really <laughs> funny moments in the film that will just make you bust a gut laughing and I grade this one five stars there's no contesting in that two thumbs way up it is just outstanding it's it's a stellar film and I, I just loved it all the way through it, it's just one of those movies where you're happy to be alive to see it, and you know that the peanut, I'm warning you now, please don't touch my hot cocoa. <laughs> He's been doing this all morning. And anyway, um, it's one of those movies where you can really enjoy and be entertained, especially by Steve Martin's antics, just how he... Emotes, how he gesticulates, the, the <laughs> his expressions are top notch, and I think that there really is, well, other than Leslie Nielsen, God rest him, um, whom I I just I miss him dearly, and a lot of my favorite comedians are this way, and and modern day comedians that I I love are just the way that their movements and <laughs> their timing and. Being a non-professional comedian myself, it, it was almost something that I wanted to get into, honestly, but I hate crowds, and I don't like hecklers, and it just, I don't think it would work. No, a pass! But anyways, uh, <laughs> this film is just nothing short of astronomical, and it's one that can be enjoyed by everybody plus they're really good messages it's the whole it's um a cautionary tale and the moral is what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive and then the other obvious crux of the tale is love is where you least expect it even though it, it kind of reminds me of the proposal in a way because i think the proposal actually took on 
the premise of the house sitter now that I think about it because it was it was all a facade and it's all a charade and then they come to realize oh my gosh I really love this person and it's just the the ultimate reveal and it's absolutely <laughs> spectacular but that's basically all I have to say about house sitter and if you're a fan of Steve Martin this I think other than Cheaper by the Dozen, Pink, the Pink Panther movies, which are my favorite, and um, Out of Towners, which is an utter romp and just a sumptuous delight <laughs> to experience. It is what I call uh, eye candy and ear candy and just um, nourishing.